update on a shocking local 10 investigation of fast food giant being forced to turn over video in a violent carjacking. Yeah, but after being ordered to turn over the surveillance tapes by a judge, the restaurant eventually complied, but they didn't hand over the most crucial piece of video. Local 10 investigator Jeff Weinsier is live to explain. Jeff. The state attorney's office had subpoenaed and requested a very specific piece of video that was not handed over this week. And now McDonald's confirming to us that video is gone. The missing video is from this camera behind the register facing the front counter. It allegedly shows Jonathan Reyes's face before he followed an elderly woman out of this Hialeah McDonald's, attacked her in the parking lot, stole her car. Prosecutors know that piece of video exists because the 84-year-old victim and a Hialeah detective saw it the night of the attack back in February. And that's how Reyes was identified as the attacker. The victim asked we not identify her. I saw his face for the first time we, uh, in that video that was there. I went to the doctor, I went to get coffee, that's all. But that video, that key piece of evidence is missing. In this new motion filed with the court, the state attorney's office wants to know why verbally attorneys for McDonald's told prosecutors that camera angle is no longer available, but gave no reason. The state says the video was subpoenaed back in March and a McDonald's manager, a security guard, and McDonald's attorneys knew they wanted that specific shot because it showed Reyes from the front. They were told that video would be preserved. But for seven months, McDonald's has been fighting not to turn over any video. This week, a judge ordered McDonald's to turn over the tapes. But that direct frontal shot of the suspect is missing. That elderly victim says... I don't know what to think, you know. I don't know. You know, if he's a delinquent, he should stay in jail. That's what I think. And this afternoon, late this afternoon, this statement from McDonald's, it was brought to our attention that one of the video angles requested was inadvertently missed. Unfortunately, our surveillance footage is only available in the system for a limited time, and that missing angle is no longer available. McDonald's has not destroyed any video and is cooperating with the state attorney's office. McDonald's tells us in that statement they provided several other different angles to the state attorney's office. The question, is it suffice? The question, what will happen now? Will this case be in jeopardy because they don't have that video? At this point, we simply don't know. We'll, of course, keep you posted. For now, we're live in Hialeah. Jeff Weinsier, Local 10 News.